The next pistol that we're going to discuss is the Smith & Wesson Model 686. Now this pistol is a revolver. This pistol also has a pretty heavy frame, which means that it's going to reduce the amount of felt recoil. Now with this pistol right here, you want to make sure that you have a good firm grip on the gun simply by wrapping your dominant hand around the pistol grip. Now remember, you want to keep this gun pointing in a safe direction and you always want to keep your finger kept straight and not the trigger until you're ready to fire. You're going to do the same. You're going to wrap your left hand or your weaker hand around your dominant hand and for this pistol, you can choose to keep your thumbs right on the side or back here. With this gun right here, what you don't want to do is wrap your weak hand or any part of your hand around the cylinder, which is this piece right here. Because whenever you shoot, all of the hot gases, all of the fire, comes out of this port right here. So if you're covering the cylinder with your hand, you're going to burn yourself. So go ahead and make sure you have both of your hands wrapped tightly together and you'll be perfectly fine. Now to load this weapon, what you're going to do is simply push this latch right here forward towards the cylinder and at the very same time, you're going to tap the cylinder out. Once you have the cylinder open, it's very simple. You're going to go ahead, take your bullets, and you're going to drop them in one at a time, one into each chamber. Now, for this specific model, it only holds six rounds, so you can only load up to six bullets. Once you have your bullets loaded, go ahead, close the cylinder, and this pistol right here is ready to shoot. Now, for the Smith & Wesson 686, there is no safety. Your finger is your first and primary safety, and that's why it's very important for you to keep your finger straight and off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Now, for this pistol, it has a hammer, which is this piece right here. When the hammer is cocked up, the trigger is going to stay all the way forward, meaning that this gun will be a little bit difficult to shoot because you need to squeeze the trigger all the way back before the gun will fire. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and pull the hammer back, which reduces the trigger pull, making this gun a lot easier to shoot. So if you barely tap it, it's going to fire. Now, you do not need to pull the hammer back if you do not want to, but if you do, always make sure that the gun is first pointing at your target. You never want to go ahead and point the gun up towards the ceiling and pull the hammer back because you might accidentally squeeze the trigger. If you do, you're going to damage your ears, you're going to damage some property, and we're going to have some problems later on. So, at this point, once the gun is loaded and ready to shoot, you're going to make sure you hold the gun properly, just like I showed you. You're going to want to have a good balanced stance, keep your feet shoulder width apart, slightly staggered. You're going to want to have your back straight, and you're going to lean slightly forward. Extend both of your arms. And once you've done that, go ahead and look straight down the gun, and what you should see is the front sight post and the rear sight post. Now, in order to aim, what you're going to do is align the front sight right there in the open gap of the rear sight so that it resembles this picture right here. Now, what you want to do is have a straight line all across the top of the sights, which levels out the gun. And once you've done that, place it on the center of your target or wherever else you choose to shoot. And once you're ready, go ahead, squeeze the trigger, or pull the hammer back and squeeze the trigger and the bullets will impact right around the front sight tip. Once you're done firing, go ahead, open the cylinder back up, tilt the pistol over, and then push down on this rod right here. That basically ejects all of the spent casings. Now for this gun, it's important that you don't try to pull the empty shell casings out or, to or basically shake them out because they'll be hot and they'll be stuck inside. Just go ahead, push down right here, and that ejects all the empty shell casings. Now another important consideration with this revolver right here is that it only holds and fires six bullets. So after you've shot off the six bullet, you squeeze the trigger again and nothing happens, it does not mean the gun's broken. It's only out of ammunition. Go ahead, unload it, reload it, and you'll be perfectly fine.